I'm Chef Jasper for Hen House Markets, and today I'm making one of my favorite pastas for the summertime, pasta with the melon. Now, this recipe has become so popular that it's the most requested recipe at my restaurant, and also Cook's Magazine pick it up, and it's one of their most requested recipes, so I'm pretty proud of it. It's summertime, so we start with some great tasting cantaloupe. And people always ask me, can you use other melon? Not really, cantaloupe is just heavy enough and it doesn't have as much water in it. So we'll cut up some of this melon. And in the meantime, we will start our stove here. Add a little bit of butter to the pan. You really don't have to melt the butter too much because it will melt down along with the prosciutto ham. So we just saute this prosciutto ham. You may want it a little crispy. Never add any fresh herbs to the pan while the prosciutto is cooking. And remember, the prosciutto has a little bit of fat in it, so it will release a little more of the uh, oil to the pan. And it cooks pretty quickly. A couple of minutes will do. Ah, the kitchen is already starting to smell great. All right, at this time, we will add our chopped melon. And continue to saute it. You may want to add a little cracked pepper at this time. All right. So, how did I get the idea about pasta and melon? Well, you must remember, in Italy, prosciutto and melon is a well-known appetizer, especially during the summertime. Beautiful, fresh melon. It's so sweet with a little salty flavor of that prosciutto ham. It goes great together. So I thought, when life gives you melon, life gives you a little prosciutto, cook it together with a little bit of pasta. Now, this really goes pretty quickly here, and you don't want to brown the melon. You just want to get it soft enough the flavor starts releasing. At this time, we'll add some heavy cream. And remember, this comes to a boil pretty quickly. So, as you can see, it's already pretty hot. We're gonna add some grated Romano cheese. So basically, we're making a white sauce. And I like to tell people, that when you add the grated Romano cheese, it's like adding a thickener to the sauce. You would never add any flour to this. Look how thick this sauce is automatically. Now, I don't have to add much salt to this, any salt at all probably, because the prosciutto is just salty enough. All right, how long has this taken? A few minutes. We add our pasta. And Make sure it's nice and coated. We'll bring this all together. May add a little more cracked pepper, but I think it's missing something. So I think it's now time for some fresh herbs. And of course, I'm thinking a little bit of fresh mint. Here I have some beautiful mint. We'll add that to it. And you just want to tear it. You don't want to chop it. All right. We'll give this a little toss. And really, our dish has all come together now. The prosciutto, the melon, the fresh mint, a little bit of cream, a little bit of cheese. You may want to add a little bit of grated cheese on top right before you serve it. And there you have it. My favorite pasta prosciutto and melon tossed with a little bit of cream. Ah, doesn't get any better during the summertime. Jasper's pasta with the melon. From my family to yours, something you'll always enjoy and something that you'll want everybody recommending when they come to your home. And you know what? It's simple and delicious. As my father always said, bene mangiare bene, which means eat and drink well.